YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration with the YouTube Mommy Group, so make sure you check out the link below with the other crock pot recipes for Crocktober. Today I'm sharing a recipe with you that's known as Haleem. It varies from region to region, Middle East, Central Asia, and so forth. But this dish usually is made of wheat or barley and meat, sometimes lentils, and it actually is slow cooked for seven to eight hours and results in like a paste like consistency. Um, it's actually high in calorie and provides protein from the meat, fiber and carbs from the various combination of the grains such as whatever grains you decide to use. I am only using wheat over here. Haleem is usually served on the side with a garnish of fried onions. As you can see they're fried thoroughly, limes or lemons. Um, julian or sliced ginger, green onions, cilantro, and some oil that you fried the onions in. So go ahead and take a bag of wheat, regular wheat, or I found Haleem wheat, which you can find at any Desi or Indian grocery store, Indian or Pakistani, any store. You could also use regular wheat from a normal grocery store as well. I have a bag of two pounds over here and I'm going to go ahead and soak the whole bag overnight and allow it to absorb all the water so it's easy to cook for the next day and as you can see it's just regular wheat nothing special and that's all I'm using for my recipe. Feel free to go ahead and either pressure cook or stovetop cook the grains. I'm stovetop stove cooking them and make sure it's cooked thoroughly all the way through. Once that's done you want to blend the grains together. I'm using a hand blender. You can actually use your machine or whatever you like. Go ahead and make sure everything's blended thoroughly, mixed well, and into a paste-like consistency. Next, I'm using my all-time favorite Instant Pot, which is my pressure cooker, electric pressure cooker, steamer, slow cooker, crock pot, rice maker, everything all in one. I'm adding some oil to this and switching it to the saute mode. And that's got a 30 minute timer which allows me to go ahead and saute anything I need before I go ahead and either pressure cook or slow cook. To this I'm adding my meat and I'm using beef. I always like my Haleem made with beef and I also like the flavor from the bone. So I have beef with bones here and I'm going to go ahead and saute that all the way through. Keep stirring the meat and make sure it's sauteed all the way through on all sides. And once that's done, I'm using a Haleem mixture. And Haleem mixture is made of a whole bunch of different spices. Instead of actually finding the ground or whole spices, I'm using a packet. It's very easy. You can also find this at any Indian store. And mix that up with some water and go ahead and add that to the meat. So. As you can see, it's got some bay leaves and a whole bunch of different spices. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Once that's done, I just have to put the lid back onto the Instant Pot, switch it off the saute mode before I do that, put the lid on, seal the crock pot or the Instant Pot itself, and actually I'm going to select my stew or uh, meat presetting, and that's for 35 minutes. I can change that, however, 35 minutes is good for what I'm using. Um, go ahead and actually allow that to cook the meat. I want to make sure it's very, very tender, falls off the bones. I can actually tear it apart with a little touch. So here it is. It's actually cooked in the spices and all done. To give you a better idea, if you were to actually just take a spoon and touch the meat, it should just fall apart and that's how tender the meat needs to be for you to use it for your Haleem. Next I'm going to use the grain mixture that I have. As you can see it's completely blended. I like it a little crunchy so I have very little grains in there but they're not entirely whole. I'm going to add that to my instant pot or my crock pot and allow that to simmer and mix really well before I slow cook it. So once again, once it's mixed really well, I'm going to select my slow cook option and I'm doing four hours before I'm going to mix it up again and then do another three hours. So it needs to cook for about, again, seven to eight hours. Meanwhile, I'm going to brown my onions, saute them really well and make sure they have a nice brown color all around. 
I mean, keep stirring the onions thoroughly so they get that brown color evenly across all the onion slices. I have some sliced limes here, some julienne cut ginger. Again, I ran out of cilantro, but I had some green chilies and my onions. Lastly, I'm going to just have some oil on the side. It's just used as a garnish just to give it some life because you don't want the halim to look very dry. Serve it and enjoy. And again, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. See you later. Bye.